Hi, Ms. Trembley. Hi, Tio. How are you guys? Hi, Ms. Gutel. It's great to see you guys. Good to see you guys. Happy, happy day. Happy I'm day. Happy day. It's, day a, outside. it's it a beautiful day outside, and yeah. um, we were thinking, boys and girls, that we would take another virtual field trip. Yay! Yay. I love field trips. And this time we are going to dive in to a new kind of landscape. So I'm going to share my screen. Yay. And it's going to give you a clue of what we're going to do. Ooh. Ooh. Any clues? Ooh. Uh, I like the look of that. Right? And I so um, today we're going to go under the sea. Yay! Oh, that's awesome. Yay! And um, we're going to learn a little bit about coral reefs and how they're important oh. habitats for our ocean's wildlife. That's and great, because I don't know a lot about coral reefs at all. I always hear those two words together, and I don't know what it means. Oh, this great. is great. So we're going to all learn together. And so first, let's look at the map. Um, oh. The dots in red are where you can find coral reefs. What do we notice? Wow. Um, there's a lot, like, near the center. Um, yes. Like, by the equator. By the equator. There, yeah, wow, there are so many around Australia and mm -hmm. lower Asia. Yes, and there doesn't seem to be any up by Antarctica, up at the top half of right. the world. And um, what we know is that coral reefs are only found in shallow tropical seas. So this makes a lot of sense. Oh. All that but warm be, water. Yeah, right. it needs to be near the equator. So that makes and a lot of sense. Shallow water means that it's not very deep, right? And shallow water means that it's not very deep. And um, mm. coral looks like plants, but here is a fun fact. They are actually animals. <gasps> No way. Really? What? They are actually yeah. animals. Even and so I thought, let's go sure. check them out. Yes. I know we all wanted to go check some out, so let's go to a live aquarium. Ooh. Oh, Whoa. Wow. Can you make it bigger? Yes, let's make yes. it bigger. So we can feel like we're <gasps> Ooh. Oh, oh yes. my gosh. Oh, here. I we feel are like I'm in an aquarium, like inside of it. Yes, wow. and I wow. There are so many different things to notice and see. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing. Wow. Oh, look at that turtle swimming by. Oh. And that looks like a stingray. And there's a school of fish over here on the left. A school of fish, right. And a fish just swam down. Yeah, that was yeah. Down. really big. Right. It's amazing oh. that there are that many, that many different types of fish and they're not running into each other. I know. They must, How, and yeah, they're getting along. Yeah, there's yeah. no traffic cones. There's no, no traffic right. lights. Everybody right. knows which direction to go. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at the sting. It looks like a stingray at the bottom there. Several yeah, of them. Indeed. Oh, he's so flowy. His um, fins are so fluid. Yeah. Um, and moving, kind of. Whoa. Whoa. Big guy oh. coming through. Did you see his wow. little Like this pointy forehead. There is so many varieties of shapes and color and they're all hanging out the, the ocean does not seem right. empty right there's oh, a lot of life in there and look at the sunlight coming through the water i was noticing that too i was noticing that that is so beautiful yeah it's like it's a like sunny like spot the underwater actually animals like these things at the bottom yes yeah. so the coral they have plants underneath the water but mm -hmm. they also have um coral which is an animal and it grows so, yeah, it grows so slowly. Um, it only a few centimeters a year. It takes hundreds of years to grow large pieces of coral. Hmm. Wow. Wow. That's so special. Right. That's so special. I'm, I'm noticing even around where, where I live, how much nature, I mean, it's spring and Whoa. all these plants are blooming and growing and I'm hearing more birds outside. Like it, it, looking at this reminds me that nature exists and should be protected everywhere. That's right. so very true. It's kind and of like an underwater forest. That's, yeah. that's right. And I found out that um, coral reefs, they're called the underwater rainforest. And oh, that makes so wow. much sense. 
It's so pretty. I wish I could see this all day long. I should leave it on my screen. Yes, yeah, I, I was thinking just, just watching this and I, I, I would love to just watch this and maybe listen to some calm music and right. that would put me in such a relaxed calm mood and you know to even draw right next to it right. it's, it's a very calming um thing to look at yeah yeah so guys should we make artwork based on Ooh, under the sea yeah i saw lots of really cool fish that i would love to draw yeah me look too. at all these different shapes i see like an ovally shape fish and yeah. then more of a triangular shape the triangle i, I mean the sh we've seen a few sharks swim by oh yes and those right. sharks Oh, there goes there, one. There he is. Oh, there he is. Shark. Oh, there's another one. And he's so much bigger. Now. So there's so many different sizes. Right. There's right. different sizes, different colors. And, and I also love the, the coral oh, reef. Looks like it has such cool oh, texture to it. Did you see his tail? Oh, oh yeah. Was, yeah. That was beautiful. That. Those curved lines making that pattern. Yes. I, th yeah, I think I'm going to have a wild creature joining us for our meeting. It looks like somebody's out of their bed. Oh, hey, Corey. Oh. <laughs> hey, Corey, come see the fish. Oh, yeah. Bring her to the aquarium. Rory, come to the aquarium. <gasps> Hi, Rory. Hi, Rory. Hi. Look what, what we're see? looking at. You like the fish? You see that fish flapping? Wow. wow. Well, let's show, let's show um, the boys and girls some Please cool. Please, can I see a short? Yes, I would love for you to see a shark. Let's yeah, keep watching. Open. We've been seeing them swim by. Hey, hi. And, hi. <laughs> and um, we have some great resources for you guys um, down here on how to draw different kinds of fish. Oh, cool. And different kinds of plant life. Oh, yeah. Wow. And look, Rory, it's a, look, look, it's a shark. Excuse me. That is awesome. That is awesome to have those drawing steps because I really want to try to um, draw some of the fish we've seen. Yes, and then um, you can create your own underwater landscape by first doing what we saw, which was create the background and then add your plants and coral and then start adding your creatures. Wow. I even, uh, wow. we might even want to include that is. Um, a submarine. Ooh. Yeah. And then, oh, of I course, we to add that color to make it so bright. Yay. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to do one of these. I am ready. I'm All right, ready. let's do this. Boys and girls, are you ready? Yay, we're going to draw. Yay. Yay, I can tell they're ready. They're ready. Let's do this. Yay. All right. Bye guys. Bye. Bye guys. Can't wait to see what we can be creating. Aquí hay varios ejemplos de criaturas submarinas. Usa estos recursos para ayudarte a dibujar criaturas submarinas y paisajes submarinos. Ahora, la señora Cateles les va a mostrar cómo dibujar varios animales o criaturas submarinas. Primero voy a dibujar una medusa. Luego voy a dibujar una estrella de mar.
voy a dibujar un cangrejo. Voy a dibujar una concha de mar. Ahora voy a dibujar un coral. Hay muchos tipos de coral. Este solo es uno. Ahora voy a dibujar un paisaje submarino. Y aquí termina mi paisaje submarino. Ahora voy a colorearlo usando marcadores o lápices de color o crayones. Espero que te divertiste haciendo un paisaje submarino. Ahora es tu turno de dibujar peces, um, criaturas submarinas y paisaje submarino. Diviértete.